It's been too long since I've participated in a Master System challenge, but when Asterix come up in the list, well I had no option. He was a childhood favourite, but how well will I do on the Master System? You're going to have to wait and see after these. Now when Ollie 8-Bit Boy UK decided an Asterix, I had no option but to try and squeeze in a few moments to play this game this week, because Asterix, well it was quite important to me back in the day. Being asthmatic I managed to get myself out of gym, out of PE, quite a lot back in the 80s, and what happened there was you get sent to the library. Now our library and our school had a wonderful collection of comic books, and Asterix was one of the series they had. I've read most of them all back to back several times, so I've got to play this fiendishly strong little goal and see how he, he bears up all these years down the line and how he translates to a video game. So, let's get on with the gameplay shall we? Right, so the year is 50 BC, Gaul is entirely occupied by the Romans. Well, almost entirely. One small Gaulish village and, well it didn't give me enough time to read, but I know the story anyway. You have this group of little Gauls here and they have a magic potion because their druid get a fix, brews it up for them and they can beat the living daylights out the Romans. Now I'm assuming that the game's just going to be like that, I'm going to be Asterix, I'm going to be beating the living daylights out of the Romans. Now, having a look at the graphics, quite nice to start with, they're very cartoony, very accurate to the, the, the comic books, and a 1991 game. So let's get started, shall we? Now, full disclosure, I have not played this game ever. Never ever. Oh, I get to select Asterix. I, I didn't notice whether I could select Obelix there as well. Who doesn't need the magic potion because he fell in to the cauldron as a baby? Alright, so let's see what we got. Left and right. Up and down. Down, duck, up, nothing. Punch and jump. Now, uh, he's not too slidey, I quite like that. And I just saw that little Roman there. That's okay, quite cute. And how close his hitbox, that's not too bad, and pick something up and we have this. Do I hit this? Yep. Right, so I've picked up a potion, that might be the magic potion to make me super strong. Oh, I can go back and kill him again. I've just noticed however I've got a timer. Right, so I don't know what, it looks like bones, but I don't know, it might have been bones. And coins. I like coins. Coins, you pretty much know what you're doing. Right. Three, oh. Well, the enemies aren't that hard. Um, the hitboxes seem okay. Oh. How far is he coming? Oh, he hit me. He hit me. And again. Come on. Come on, there we go, there we go. Whew, that was a bit tougher. Is that a level up there? Nope. So it's very linear to start with. I'm quite enjoying the hitboxes, I won't lie. And a key for this door, obviously. Yes! Oh, we have a boss. Uh. Uh. I hit him, I hit him, I hit him. I hit him again. And he hit me? Okay. Right, he seemed... Oh no, um... Nope, 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 nope. Right, come on pig, come on pig. Right, come on pig. Oh, come on! No. Right, I seem to have plenty of lives here. I am not looking at the screen. Right, no, get that side. Oh, how do I take my magic potion? 
How do I take my magic potion? No! How do I take my magic potion? Right, I need to work out how to take that magic potion because that's obviously a big deal. Right, I'm not going to continue. I'm going to restart, run this through again because I don't like just doing the one run. I mean, I could do the one run, but it's unfair to me, unfair to you. So let's just restart this. Right, know the story. I know the backstory. I don't need to care about the backstory. <coughs> Here he is, Caesar. Right, that's something I'm going to check this time. I'm going to check to see if I can pick Obelix at the beginning. No, no movement. I have to be Asterix, so that's, that's absolutely fine. Right. Okay. Punch. Right, see, they're nice and easy. Right, so there's my magic potion. I'm going to try and work out how to take it up. Now I'm going to jump two buttons together. No combination with jump and... Right, up through it. Can I... It's a bomb! It's a bomb! But Affleck was the bomb in Phantoms. Whoa, that's quite handy. I just wasted a bomb though. Right, let's go. Let's go again. Come on! Oh, crossbones that time. That's not too bad. Come on, come on. No! I don't know what the bones are doing for me. Combats! Okay, as I say, the hitboxes aren't... Stop talking to the camera. Hitboxes aren't too bad. There's some meat that time. Oh, I want more of that. Yeah. Some more potions. Don't know how many I've gotten that or how many I get to carry, but we'll see. So as I said, yes, um Asterix, big part of my not childhood but young adulthood, I suppose. Back in the eighties. Reading the comic rather than going to to gym at school. Which I'll be frank and honest with you, when you when you go to gym in a school in Scotland, it's rugby and just no thank you. Right, got a bomb, got a bomb, right, let's see if I can use this bomb. Uh, what was it? There we go. Oh! Yes! No, jump, jump him, jump him! Jump him again, right. Get a bomb going, no! Get the bomb going, no! <laughs> Right, come on. Boom. Oh, I wanted to get back over there and... I keep pressing the wrong button for the bomb. Right, there's a bomb this time and... I'm back on, I'm back on. Oh, I can punch down, I can punch down. I can punch down, that was just pure fluke. And that's it. That... Do I get to click that meat? Do I get... Well, fantastic. You get to jump up, press down and the fire button and you're all good. You do this slam punch. <sighs> you live, you learn. Okay, so we're on to the next round and we're on to round 1-1. One, one. And I'm Obelix this time. As I said before, Obelix didn't need to take the potion. Obelix was born with, um, well he was born, when he was born he fell into the, the cauldron, I'm talking to you guys like this is real. Um, <laughs> right, he's got quite a slow, hey, the Romans should be no problem for Obelix because as I said he's permanently juiced. He's an absolute tank, or as Tommy from Dad and Lads Gaming would say, he's a unit and yeah, okay. Fall down, but don't want, don't want to fall down. Oh. He is quite slow and cumbersome, but you yeah, know, sprightly for a big fellow. Oh, right, and he can land on their heads as well. That's quite good, right? How do I get over that? Mario style. Nope. Come on, come on, big run. Oh. 
Oh! You can punch the bricks. Well, this will make this bit of traversal a bit easier. Fantastic. Right, okay. Come on, Obox. Oh, but, but I jumped on him. Right. Right, he, oh. He can do the jump, but when you press down and fire, he does a slam down. Right, okay. And this guy's throwing what looks like tomatoes at me. I'm just... Duck, duck. No, 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 no. Right, how do I get past him? I don't know, because that's another game over. Timing's not too bad. We're not going too long, but I'm going to give it one more go. I've learned a couple of new mechanics in this game, and that's what this is all about. I mean, playing retro games, it's not about being great at them to start with. It's not about knowing what to do. It's about learning what to do. And you know what? This has been a very good example of that. So here we go again. We will restart and get, well, my high score as you can see is 8,700 and this is a high score challenge. This will be my high score run. Here goes nothing. Come on, we can do this. We know how to use the bombs, we know how to attack from the air, an aerial attack. We can punch through walls. We can do this, we can do this. Yeah, let's rescue, get a fix. Lovely jubbly. Right, okay. There we go. Potions. He's con he controls really well. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I've played much worse when it comes to controls and hitboxes, so... I'm not going to complain about this game. I'm going to try not talk too much this time though, because there we go again. I want to get through, I want to get a higher score than I got before. Talk about the hitboxes and then just hit every Roman. Now, why are they there then? Can I smash down in them? No. Right. Must just be to give you the height that you require. Oh. Right, but I'll be able to do that to him. That's so much better. Take it he can't punch the blocks the way Oblux can. Right, okay. You know what? Let's... No, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Oh, let's just... Hit him normally. Hit him normally. Let's not mess about with this. wonder what those bones do. I seem to have two item boxes up to the top right hand side, which would assume that the potion bomb thing isn't the only thing that you're going to collect in the game. Right, what's next? Right, okay. Seriously? Right, points make prizes. Right, got him. That's good. Here we go. This is much better. Just waiting for that key now, which will be in here. Right, this boar. This boar is a boar. Is a boar. But so much easier with that. So much easier when you can drop on them. So much easier when you can drop on them. Ah. Hey, right. that's seven thousand nine hundred. Nah, that was better than my last score. Right. And here we go. We're on to round two with Obelix. And Obelix, he can punch through the walls. Come on, Obelix. And again, the graphics are fantastic. They, they do justice to the game. Why is it letting me punch through this bit? Is there anything hidden? Yeah, there we go. Hidden stuff. Did that give me extra life there? Should have paid attention there. And I, can he smash through? He can smash through, so here we go. So. We could smash these for some reason. It's... 
went all Mario. Went all Mario. Right, okay. Right, okay, so. Smack them. Oh, he can bop them. Fantastic. Now, I do see bad guys down there, but I'll just ignore them just now. See if I can get through this level. Oh, so, shortcut. There we go, Mario style. And we've been here before. Why? Right, okay. Never mind him. Just keep going. The tree stump has you stumped. He's a bit like the backlog. Come on, Oblix. I mean, I suppose it makes sense that he can smash through stuff. Oh, there's another one of those wells. Not that one, no. It's just like Mario! Oh no, here we go. Right, how to? How to? I don't have any weapons, no bombs. Get plenty of time. And... I'm gonna just... Yes, got him! And the key, so I'll be the end of the level. Here, how excited I got there. And that was extra life, good. What's that Roman gonna do? Roman's gonna do nothing. And yeah, I'm at 8,600. Right, okay, a new boss. And again, it's a learning experience. Okay, that was cheap. Right, okay, gotta watch where the eyes are coming from down in the pipes below. Right. Right, I got one. No, 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 right, okay, so it's a fairly easy pattern. And I'll probably go on to it next time. <laughs> but there you go, that's Asterix on the Master System, and that's my high score for the Master System challenge this week. It was nice to do one again, and if you've watched this far, well, if you've watched so far, then thank you very much. Anything you want to talk about this game, just drop it down in the comments as usual. And don't forget to check out Ollie 8 Boy UK for the official Master System Challenge. Well, channel, because it's his challenge and you should go over and see him. Thank you very much for watching as always and until next time, cheerio!